Mice are born and raised in Fort Pierce, Florida. Went to Lincoln Park Academy. Florida and m Came to Mississippi for the weekend. It's been 15 years ago. Got this mud in my shoes and I stayed. That's an opportunity. And I've taken advantage of it. Because, you know, Mississippi, I, I feel that it's the land of a lot of times we talk about change, but we never put our money where our mouth is, and I've done so. You know, I, I truly have looked, and I had a chance to travel, and I really can't think of a better place to live right now in my life than Mississippi. You know, I, I, I sell Mississippi every day, you know, that's the key to this business is selling Mississippi. I sell Mississippi every day, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm Mississippi in love. I can't think of a better place to be right now in my life. And I find that people, the nicest people in the country, right here in this area. And you know, I never had an idea about it when I came, you know, that I would be meeting the best, nicest people you could ever meet right now in my life. And being right here in Mississippi right now. Oh yeah. I, I, cooking is my hobby. This is this is this is what I like. This, I love to entertain people. I love to have people come and enjoy food. I never I had an idea that this would be my profession. What I how I make my living. You know, um, I teach each and every one of my guests the same. You know, I don't care if the governor comes or the president comes. I'll be no different than that buffet because it's. Each and every day is made special, just for my special days and for myself. One day, I just started to discover myself, you know. I thought about the legacy. There was a great legacy in 100 years of doing business in the same place, to create a legacy. Now, I said one day that I'll start to create my own legacy and my own self. And and I said it, said that Mr. D's and the legacy of best fried chicken in the world, and then the best fried chicken in the world needs a song. When I first sung it to my family, they laughed. As a matter of fact, they rolled on the floor. It was the funniest thing they'd ever heard. But the next year when I gave them a DVD of me on the Food Network, it wasn't so funny then. Grandmama was a cornbread cooking queen. Grandmama was a cornbread cooking queen. Grandmama, 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 oh Grandmama, Grandmama was my cornbread. Good and queen. Hey, hey. Two piece chicken and a biscuit. Get it while it's hot. Two pork chops and a biscuit. Get it while it's hot. A grandmama, grandmama, grandmama. Oh, grandmama. Grandmama was my cornbread. Cook and queen. Hey, hey. No, there's only two verses. One day I'm looking forward to somebody writing the rest of the song in memory of this today. You know, uh, that's what I say. You know, like, be a part of this legacy in this old building. It's special to me. Because, you know, uh, I can imagine sometimes what will, will happen in the future then. You get older in life and you got this old film, you'll say, what the world happened to that old black man cooking that chicken in the morning? And that's the legacy that I want to leave. No matter whatever happens to this old building, you don't want to know what happened to me. And if I'm still around, if I'm still cooking chicken. My name is Mr. D and I am Mississippi.